when, so now that there's a lot more opportunity uh, worldwide, I assume there's a lot more opportunity in Denmark because they're making more shows. Prior to that, were, did, did you wish that you had been American? Did you wish that you had been able to spend more time in America, you know, because of the opportunity there? That's a good question. Um, I think when I was a child and even a teenager, I would have loved to be born in the U.S., but uh, I'm becoming 50. I'm so happy of being a Dane. And uh, I'm totally solid with my friends and family in Copenhagen, which is the capital of Denmark. That's where just, they make the furniture, right? Just so right, you know. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or something. I don't know. No, of course. It's not, it's not because I'm not ambitious and would love to go to the U.S., and, and I have been there and also in UK, but I mean, in Danish you would say you need the, uh, the piece of meat should be very fruity and it should actually be very tasty, if, if it isn't. Um, but I would love to say no. Okay. No, just talking about if you, there's a lot of offers, right, right. but it's, it's, it's uh, still mainly a small part, right? right. It's not that I don't want to go, but... Uh, have to be a reason for it. Have to be a reason for it. And it's not only the money. Mm -hmm. And you? I mean, I, now that now I know what you know. Um, if I, I, you can he's still so, change so the world. Well, it has to be. I'm not. I have never like really worked for the, for, for instance, the accent. That's a big thing. Mm -hmm. That would that be would be the only thing that you really would love to 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 like get right to in order to to get more work over here. And I haven't really like constantly worked on it, so that must be for a reason. I mean, uh, that must be because I'm quite content with uh, what I have, but I always love to work over here. And I've done that, I've one, uh, worked twice in, in Canada and uh, like many times in the States. So, so I, it's, it's really fun to, to work over here once in a while. But you know, usually I, you get to play the villain or something like that. But, but, uh, uh, it has to be with the work and, and with the part. Is it funny? Is the story interesting and stuff like that? Of course. Well, so telling, uh, so let's say you're talking to uh, an aspiring actor who uh, lives in Scandinavia today. I mean, I, I'm sure you have friends. Uh, what do you tell them now that you guys have been successful? I have friends. You have friends who yeah. are aspiring young actors. I have friends that are aspiring and they, they're really seeking more and more like overseas and stuff. And, and really? they, yeah, they, they do. And it, it works well, I mean. They, they go, they're going for it, and that's great. And the world is smaller, and the way, the, you, as I said before, the perception of of Europeans has definitely changed. So you're much uh, easier part of of, uh, of being in uh, North American productions. I think it's it's working well. But you have to have the, as you said, the aspiration, the, the ambitions about uh, uh, what do you want to achieve, and you can get it. That's the great thing about that story.